324 starts, not including coming out of the bullpen. 13 total all-star That returns. is two full seasons. Wow. Two full seasons. And I think of all the behind the scenes, right? The oh, moments man. on the backfields, the, the uh, 102 degree days where you don't feel like doing much, right? And those are the moments that a career makes. I just think just the comfort level the two of them have together. I mean, they don't need to even, they're, they're working with ESP back there. I, yeah. I mean, breaking hitters down and breaking teams down for the, for the last 15, 20 years. I'm, even before PitchCom, you never saw him do anything. Oh, no. They are locked in. It's, it's funny. I, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go down memory lane with them a little bit. Okay, 324 starts. And Yachty's been a beast within his starts. 335 hits for Yadier Molina within those starts. Wow. That's the most hits from a battery mate of all time. And then he shows up yesterday. Two big two bombs. Not, two big bombs. I mean, he yeah. hasn't been swinging a bat much. No. He's been on the IL. He's gone home to see his basketball team win championships. Why wouldn't he mm -hmm. at this point? But I want to dive in. I want to take you all the way back. So let's go. Let's have some fun with Wayno and Yachty right here. A lot of hugs to go around. But okay, Wayne Wright's first 63 appearances and nine playoff appearances were out of the Cardinals' bullpen as a rookie in 2005 and 2006. So I want to take you back to their first start. Here we are, April 6th in the juice box, Lauren, 2007. First battery faces in his first start, Craig Biggio. Gets him on a pop-up on a little slider cutter. Fast forward. 15 seasons. Now he's facing his kid. <laughs> he's got Kevin Biggio in there, and he's punching his ticket. So he got Daddy to pop up and little, bu little buddy right there to go wow. see you later with a punch ticket. Now I want to take you back and how he attacked people. April 6, 2007. There's Luke Scott. Heater in. Get you off my back door breaking ball. I'm going to fast forward you 15 years. Joey Votto's in the box recently. Heater in. Get you thinking in. Backdoor breaking ball. Mm. I mean, nothing has changed, and that's the beauty of Wayno when I watch him. Flip side, Yadier Molina, like he was built. We talked about this yesterday. I feel like catching equipment was built to like morph onto his body like Iron Man. What he's been able to do back there, he's a manager out on the field, is what, what he is for Adam Wainwright and the, the rest of the St. Louis Cardinals pitching staff. And to watch these guys go about their business, and maybe, just maybe, if they catch a heater in the postseason, they get to have one more embrace like that mm. and winning a World Series. But when you watch these pitchers over time, the guys that are able to have this longevity like Wayno, this is what I want to focus on. Yeah, he's made some changes in his arsenal. You go back to 2008, fastball 54% of the time. The game's changed a little bit now. Guys are on that heater. But he didn't deviate from who he is. He just upped the curveball usage. When I watch Adam Wainwright pitch yesterday compared to when I was in the box against him, it's the same skit. It's six foot seven. I got I got a great feel for a breaking ball. I can throw a two-seamer. I can throw a cutter. I can shape different things to get you in swing mode. And then then me and Yadi have got you. So he has been doing it for a long time. Yachty's been doing it for a long time. It can't be understated that they have started for two full seasons together. Unbelievable. They're, they'll break the record. They're expected to break the record, uh, which they now share with Mickey Lolich and Bill Freehand sometime next week.